We're into the second part of the World Insight. Welcome back and welcome here if you're just joining us. Let's focus now on another election in Asia. This time we're going to take you to Japan for the general elections to the House of Representatives. Though the official date for that is August 30th, voters have already begun casting their ballots. The showdown involves at least seven parties, but out in front are the Liberal Democrats and the Democratic Party of Japan. The first have ruled Japan for nearly uninterrupted for half a century, while the second is only 10 years old. Which will win this election and who will be the Prime Minister of the world's second largest economy? Taking a cue from the early bird, campaigns kicked off 12 days before Election Day. Please give me the chance to fight in this election. The LDP is who can protect Japan. The LDP is who can defend your standard of living. I will personally give my all. So for Japan, I ask for your support. The opposition's mockery was biting. In the coming election, I hope the people of Japan will make a judgment on the long-lasting ruling party and whether they have fulfilled their responsibility as the ruling party or not, especially in the past four years. In the past four years, Japan has had four prime ministers from the LDP. In the past four years, millions of pension records have gone mysteriously missing. In the past four years, infighting among different factions of the LDP has been growing to a white heat. Before leaving office, Taro Aso issued a public apology. To some voters, Taro Aso's bow was an empty gesture. I'm hoping that a new group of people with new policies will come out of this competition. In this year's nationwide competition, the new group standing at the front line is the Democratic Party of Japan. I hope to receive your support to change the government, not for our party's sake, but for your livelihood and for the future. Won't you please together change Japan? A Chinese expert says Hatayama's catchphrase of changing the government resonates deeply with some voters. There are no distinct differentiations on the two parties' economic policy or other policies. What they're fighting for is public support. Under such circumstances, the opposition group has greater chance of winning because all the frauds were committed by the ruling LDP. Yukio Hatoyama is the grandson of former Prime Minister Ichiro Hatoyama. In the 1954 election, Ichiro Hatoyama defeated Shigeru Yoshida, maternal grandfather of Taro Aso. This time, will history repeat itself with the third generation? Taro Aso can present a charismatic image through the lens of mass media. Yukio Hatoyama has a reputation for personality and communication skills. Aso is the son of the chairman of the Aso Cement Company. Hatoyama's mother is an heiress to the world's number one tire company, Bridgestone. And as grandsons of former prime ministers, they both have a family pedigree. In a post-war Japanese electoral system, candidates could inherit political capital from their fathers or grandfathers. Such a heredity politics ensure young candidates can win a seat in a powerful lower house. And as Japanese are particular about the idea that seniority must be given top priority, to start early means a higher possibility of being among top leaders in the future. One result of such a tradition is more than 30 percent of parliament members are from political dynasties. In this year's election, the tradition is being challenged. Katsuhito Yokokume is a son of a truck driver. The 27-year-old has been campaigning in Yokosuka since last October. I have the common sense of ordinary people and a grassroots spirit. 
But Yoko Kume knows that in the district nicknamed Koizumi Kingdom, his road is bumpy. My opponent has a strong power base, name recognition and political funds, and he's the son of the former prime minister, so it will be a tough game for me. His opponent is Shinjiro Koizumi. Inheriting the constituency from his father Junichiro, the 28-year-old Koizumi only hit the Yokosuka streets in late June, but he's enjoyed popularity. I was a big fan of his father, Junichiro, so we have great hopes for his son. Family ties or no family ties, that's one testing ground in the coming election. Though Hatoyama is a blue blood politician, He's campaigned against the hereditary politics. Hatoyama said those who are elected as hereditary politicians are in a sense weak as they've gained their seat easily. Besides the determination to break family politics, the DPJ promises to address Japan's deep-seated economic insecurity. In its manifesto released last month, the party says it will introduce a child allowance, cut road tolls and taxes on small businesses, raise unemployment benefits, support farmers' incomes, and revamp a pension system that cannot keep up with an aging population. But the ruling party scoffs at the DPJ's campaign credentials. At the party's official website, an animated cartoon accuses the opposition of being callow and extreme. Dr. Gui says the LDP is conducting a negative campaign. The LDP is the only party in Japan that has governing experience. It could accuse any opposition party of lacking experience. Though the DPJ hasn't been a ruling party, some of its senior party members who broke from the LDP in the 1990s do have experience. A poll in the Asahi Shimbun, a leading Japanese newspaper, said the LDP has only 21 percent support among voters, while 40 percent say they will opt for the DPJ. The DPJ winning the election and a chance to appoint its own prime minister might be the easy part. The real challenge is to prove the party deserves the voters' trust. The LDP has successfully steered Japan towards economic takeoff all the way since the 1950s, but as the economy enters a fast lane, policy and political structure has failed to meet the demands of a changing society. Now, some expect the DPJ to win this election, ushering in an era of power alternating between two main parties. But no matter who wins, no matter how the politics works, what the country needs is a policy that can make everyday changes in everyday lives.